Now it's time to add the sled to the drills we worked on earlier. The candidates then practice the ski maneuver drills with an empty sled, further incorporating the drills into muscle memory. Emphasize and exaggerate the twist with candidates. The sled and skier should not move during the kick turn. Emphasize lifting the inside handle. Notice the hand position. Make sure that the uphill hand is forward. With snowboarders, watch for weight transfer, flexing the knees, and speed control. As before, emphasize the power stance, the check before the turn, the pump, and a rapid movement into the new check. Candidates should practice these drills with both types of toboggans. The one hand drill exaggerates the power hand, which causes the sled to track. Watch that the inside handle weights the outside skeg. This drill simulates an emergency maneuver wherein the sled slides below the operator because the fins have broken loose. Pushing down on the handles releases the fins. As the toboggan slides below them, the candidate switches hands. They then lift the handles to engage the fins and re-establish control. You then ski under the sled using a big twist to regain the correct position. Practice this maneuver until it becomes instinct. This drill can be dangerous, so do it away from skier traffic and make sure a trainer is downhill of the student to take control of the sled. Linking wheelbarrows together not only builds muscle memory, it's fun. The candidates practice the same drills with a loaded sled in easy terrain. An instructor or candidate should be on the tail rope for safety. Note, area protocol at Alpental allows a single operator on accidents below the gun mount. Your area protocols will determine if and where you can run a loaded sled with a single operator. Teams of candidates should practice loaded with tail rope in increasingly difficult terrain. Don't be in a hurry to move on to rear handles. Give the candidates lots of practice with the tail rope to solidify techniques and build confidence. Watch to see that snowboarders make clear, decisive direction changes. Rear handles allow for better sled control. You can lift, steer, twist, and push. Try doing that with a tail rope. Have your candidates do this sled slalom. It demonstrates how rear handles work, especially how far across the fall line you need to go. Teach the lift and set of the handles and fins. Emphasize thumbs up, elbows in, squeeze to lift. Set the sled down after the fall line but before your turn to keep the sled on the downhill skeg. Practice the timing between front and rear operators with an empty sled first. Then, moving direction changes in a narrow corridor to emphasize timing and control of speed. Make sure that one operator is checking the sled at all times. Load a rider into the sled and you continue to work on side slipping into the fall line, checking, and proper timing. Notice the front operator completes their turn, checks, and then the rear operator turns. Make sure one operator is checking the sled at all times. Practice terrain drops as the hill allows. Note that the rear operator lifts just as the sled reaches its balance point, and the front operator checks as the weight shifts to him. With a tail rope, the front operator will need more check from the rear operator as the sled drops over the edge. 
cautiously progress the candidates to more challenging terrain. Of course, at Alpenthal, there's no shortage of that. As it becomes steeper, stance, edging, and teamwork become critical. Think safety. Make corrections to technique before there's a problem. As conditions allow, teach chain technique, including dropping the chain while running and moving farther out on the handles to apply leverage to the chain. Teach the candidates to lift the handles to release the chain and set it down for more break. We call this feathering the chain. The result is a consistent speed. Listen and feel for the chain losing contact with the snow. A loose chain will cause the sled to accelerate, particularly in moguls. Teach the pick and the whip. Emphasize communication and safe lifting techniques. Slide forward, arms straight, chin up and lift with the legs. When demonstrating the whip, watch that the rear operator skis up close to the front operator before pulling the rope. Stress the importance of route finding. As the terrain becomes more challenging, discuss route finding frequently. Note here how the rear operator uses falling leaf to stay in position and add braking power. Turns in difficult conditions are problematic, so teach candidates to look ahead and turn where it is easiest to do so. 